Welcome back to the show. I'm the Bear Adventure. And I'm Becky. And on this episode, we're working on the Tiki Escape Mix Pack. And this one is Tiki Escape. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Most of the beers in this are IPAs. She's not a huge IPA fan. You could tell by my face. But they're stone IPAs, which is kind of like, to me personally, like the boss of IPAs is either stone or Sierra Nevada. Because Sierra Nevada makes a couple that I really dig. I but so. stone is like so dope on their IPAs. And I love tiki shit. And I like stone and I like IPAs. So Becky scored this box for me. And we're reviewing it for you. I thought he would really like it. Me, hey. not so much. But she's a trooper and will show you the non-IPA fan. And I do put a little something on top so it doesn't ruin the cap. I kind of picked which way we're going to go with these. So I hope this one's good. Um, this one is 7.7%. Uh, this is the one that, from what I understand, looking at the box, um, it says this is the new exclusive IPA. The label is super sweet. It says Sabro and Mosaic Hops. Okay, I think Sabro... Sabo, did I say that right, Sabro? Okay, I don't know. We discussed this off camera. Sabro, this is a new hop. It's Pizza Sabro. <laughs> it's right. Sabro and Mosaic. Let, let's let's see the pour on this. Um, that's okay. a little cleaner looking. That's nice. a really nice color. I, I like that. Okay, now here's the thing. This is why I'm not going to pour her as much because I don't think she's going to dig it near as much as I do. Here's the thing. <laughs> Normally Stone writes a book and these are got condensation on them, but there's something on this that I really want to read for you guys so in case you don't get a chance. It says, this is a getaway in a glass. Based on the name, it's fair to assume this beer is loaded with exotic tropical fruits, right? Yes and no. While this beer is not a fruit added IPA, which I'm kind of happy with that, our beloved hops can achieve sublime levels of fruity flavors and aroma all on their own. This beer combines the tropical complex and much loved mosaic hops, which is one of my favorite hops, with the intriguing newcomer, Saburo. Saburo. Sabro. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Pizza. Okay, now here's the thing. And it's notes of stone fruit and coconut. And it says in parentheses, is there nothing hops can't do? There's no need to book a multi-flight trip when a tropical tiki escape is encased in the glass like the sunny snow globe, perhaps. But openable and drinkable. This is a beer for your evening staycation. A refreshing new perspective on something familiar. So this was like a short story instead of a book that Stone normally puts on there. But I'm not familiar with that hop, which made me extra interested in it. Smells good. The smell is pretty pretty great. Um, Drink tray? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. You're going to zoom in on that. <laughs> Um, Whoa! It's not that bad. Um, the, uh, the yeah, the hop note uh, is there, but it is not overpowering like punch you in the mouth hop, and I like that. Thanks, guys. You know what? Like the reason I went ahead and read this is because every now and then they'll have something where it says it's kind of stone fruit, coconut. I don't know that you would. Yeah, that's one of those things that you. You go, that's familiar, but I don't know how to place it. Uh, the stone fruit is the, the, the initial flavor that I get. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't taste coconut. I do. I was going to say, you probably do. I'm a coconut fan. But though. he loves coconut. I'm not. I don't taste coconut. I do taste coconut the stone the fruit. The very end. Um... Because what this does to me okay. is at the very beginning, I taste the Mosaic hops, which I'm, I'm a big fan of Mosaic. Yep. Mosaic and Centennial, those are my two favorite hops. I don't know they're very vastly different, but those are my two favorite hops. Um, and then this new hop, which, wow. 
I think it's a neat. I don't know how much people are going to use it because stone fruit and coconut's not going to do what a lot of hops are normally. I mean, I can see them in those, in the juicy IPAs, but in the traditional IPAs, I don't know how it's going to play for people. This beer, this beer is two thumbs up. Now I want you guys to notice this. This is her feeling upset that she likes it. I don't know what you're talking about. This is delicious. This is really good. I am so upset that I like this. You have no idea. Well, I have no idea. You guys may ha not have any idea. Um, he has an idea. I just, I am not an IPA fan, and it's just that overpowering citrus and that piney that I don't like. Well, the and citrus this, don't seem to bother you as much. It's that the, piney, it's that piney resin. The, that just, it tastes like I stuck bark in my mouth. I don't like that. Um, this, I do enjoy. This is good. I would be worried, though. At 7-7, seven, seven, and it does <laughs> not drink like a high out. This I'll thing would life. sneak up and... <laughs> The nose will slap you in the back of the head. Yeah, no, most definitely. Um, I know my limit. I would drink one, mm -hmm. not because it's an IPA, but because I feel like I would fill that seven after the first one, just because I normally don't drink IPAs. Oh, you might. Hmm. Well, be sure to look for the rest of the box. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to put these up, you know, probably. I normally do three in a week i may throw all four of these up one right after the other uh in four days um just because this is a pretty good box um and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this and uh like i said i do this at least three times a week if you see this it'll have been four at least heck i might try to pull five just to be crazy um but Crazy. Let's talk about this in the description. Description? No. In the comments. I'll try to put links in the description for the other ones. I may even make this one a playlist. That'd be cool. <laughs> be a really short playlist. The beers just... that bet the IPAs that Becky likes. There's no. like three of them. <laughs> no, it'd be be the this box. Oh, oh okay. My Goob. bad. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So let's get down to it. Uh, did you dig it? I did. Unfortunately, yes. No, not unfortunately. I told you. You're going to come around. We're going to find IPAs that you, you I've like. I've told you before. There are several IPAs that I have had that I do like. However, they do only come in bombers. So it's really hard for me to get them. No, there is one. But we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. You like that one. I did. I yeah. did enjoy that okay. one. So, um, but we know that guy that makes those. So, mm -hmm. okay, nice guy. Well, of course I dig it. Would you have another? Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Probably. She would even have another. So this tells you guys, Stone, y'all knocked this <laughs> right out of the park. Um, Good job, Stone. I would. I would look for this. The seek abilities there. The how many would you put in a pick six? I'd buy a six pack of this Joker. I don't know since I bought this in a twelve pack that it does come in anything other than this escape pack. I don't think it does. So if you find one broken, most definitely throw one in your six pack. Yeah. Or I Ooh, can't even she say said it. Two. I can't even say it. Or two. Throw two in there. Okay. Because you're gonna want one. Okay. What do you get in? <laughs> Seven. Y'all know how high that is for an IPA from her? That's a seven. This is a nine for me. I almost went at eight, and the only reason I didn't is because I can't get it in anything other than that 12 pack. And I don't want any of the other ones. You don't know. We haven't even tasted all of them yet. I, I might like the last one or the other ones. or I, I know I liked this one. See, the Tiki Adventure is real. So there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Until your next beer adventure. She won't even stop drinking it. She likes it. Cheers. Cheers.